KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. We got one hour left to go in trading, and you got markets with mixed action so far today. S&Ps, we make an all-time high of 57.98 within almost one point of 5,800 in the futures. We're just off that price level, trading at 57.79, negative by 12 points on the session right now. We're just more than one-tenth percent in the red. You got the NASDAQ 100 slightly in the positive right now. Meta's got an event going on. They are trading higher by almost 2%, helping out the NASDAQ 100, of course. You have other equities contributing. You get the NASDAQ 100 up by 25 points, 20,192. We make a high of 20,271 earlier. The Dow rolls over negative from 42,679 earlier today. We're negative by 400 points almost from that high earlier. You're off by two thirds percent at 42,313. And the Russell, off by more than a percentage point right now. Bitcoin off a thousand dollars, sixty three thousand four twenty. You got crude back to sixty nine dollars and seventy four cents. A sixty nine handle. We were up to seventy two forty yesterday. And how about it? Crude trades three dollars down to the lows of this afternoon, and we're negative by a dollar eighty two, or just about two point five percent. Gold. Makes a record high, 26.9490 in the overnight session. We get above 26.90 earlier today. We're trading right now, positive by seven dollars on the session, about three tenths percent. 26.84 is gold. Makes another record high in the overnight session, and you jump to notes and bonds. And what do we have? A little bit of lower price and higher yield actually coming at you right now. You got the ten-year. We're negative by nine ticks, but you can see the action, right? You, you're not even at where you were yesterday, just uh, quite the volatility in the 10-year recently. We're talking about a 10-year yield, 3.78, 3.78% was sitting on that 10-year. You jump over to the dollar index, DXY, you talk about a bid. I was doing the program this morning, 9 o'clock, we're at 100.30, kaboom. We are at almost 101. Absolutely remarkable how well gold has held up. When you think about that type of a move in the dollar, sometimes you'd have the gold contract getting clobbered. Yes, it's pulled back a bit, but no real dramatic action considering the action we have. Usually when you have dollar strength, if you're pricing gold in dollars, that gold uh, is going to be a little bit less dollars because the dollar is so strong. But nonetheless, gold holds up well, and we got strength in the dollar right now. Dollar pushing 100.91. All right, stay tuned, folks. I'm coming back, filling in for my dad this afternoon. He's out. We got the S&Ps negative by 12. We'll take a look at some equities. We'll take a look at Micron. They have earnings after the bell today. And we got a special guest coming up, 315, Elliot Wallenbach, Senior Vice President with Direction. We'll talk to him for a bit. Always a pleasure. Uh, stay tuned, folks. We're coming back. S&Ps off by 12. I'll be right back.